welcome back to the Arias, where our next presenter is a drummer. But he's, uh, he's managed to overcome that severe handicap to become one of this country's most popular and most enduring television stars. Would you please welcome Mr. Daryl Summers. Thanks, Richard. Uh, I'm very honoured to, uh, to be presenting tonight the Special Achievement Award. And that award is not given to a singer or a band, it's given to someone who has given a lifetime achievement or a lifetime of contribution to the industry, which doesn't mean, by the way, they've passed on. Well, I hope it doesn't because it's going to take the edge off the acceptance speech later on. I have to give this award to someone who has contributed enormously to the, uh, the Australian music industry. It's someone, it's someone we all know. He's lovable. He's uh, irrepressible. He's uh, sometimes highly controversial. Uh, and because he is a larger-than-life figure, it's kind of easy to overlook the fact that he has given an enormous contribution to the Australian music scene. Way back in the 60s, when he was a journalist for Go Set magazine, he was writing about Australian music. And once again, because he's larger than life, we overlook the fact, perhaps, that as a record producer, he's produced six number one singles, plus one of the all-time classic great Australian hits, which was The Real Thing by Russell Morris. He also produced a number one album, Godspell, and many more record successes. Plus, if we go into uh, television, he fronted the longest running and most successful music program, Countdown, for many years. And now, every Saturday appears on another long running and successful entertainment program. I'm sure the hits are going to keep coming because he now has his own record label called Melodian has some very great acts on it too. We saw Peter Andre earlier this evening. Uh, Peter's one of the acts. Joe Beth Taylor has a new single coming out soon. We've got a plug in for Joe Beth. And of course, Indecent Obsession. Uh, so things look bright for someone, as I said, who uh, I'm very, very proud to know as a friend, not just as a business associate. He knows a lot of people in the business. He is friends with a lot of people internationally as well as the local music scene. But his energy and enthusiasm is uh, endless. He just keeps going and keeps pushing Australian music. Has done for many, many years. I refer to the man in the hat, Ian Molly Meldrum. One album. Hiya, dog face. <laughs> Iggy, how are you, mate? Here we go. Um, Your Royal Highness, on behalf of the Australian recording industry, we are very grateful for you coming into Countdown. Well, I did not say that, but the ABC had some events. Yes, right. Yes. I think we'll have we spent that much money. Well, I don't know what that was. Can leave your head on. They're not interested. Still trying, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> No, I've got no tag at the moment. <laughs> Come on, Taboo. Hold on, what have we? Oh, yes, here it is. <laughs> Hello, everyone. John, you can have the hat. Peter, I hope you don't mind doing a personation of you. Thank you, Australia. Good night. The Special Achievement Award for 1992 goes to Ian Molly Meldrum. Uh, thanks, thanks very much. Thanks, Daryl. Um, about, oh, about six weeks ago, I had the privilege of um, standing in for Red Simons uh, in Rocky Horror playing the narrator. And the first uh, monologue that uh, the narrator comes out with is, uh, will go something like, I would like, if I may, to take you on a strange journey. Well, I've been on a very strange journey, I can tell you right now, through the music industry, 
and I guess I've taken a few people with me uh, down here as well. Um, I'll quickly, I've got a lot of people to thank and I'll do this very quickly. First of all, I'd like to thank Ronnie Burns who first got me into this industry, his mum, Artie Edna, who was an inspiration back then uh, when we um, started the record production side, to, go, uh, to Philip Fraser and Tony Schaubler at Ghost Set for asking me to be a rock writer, to Roger Savage and Bill Armstrong and engineers, John Sayers, John French and Ernie Rose for teaching me how to become a record producer, to the artists like Russell Morris, John Young, the songwriter, uh, Master Apprentice Zoot, uh, Ronnie Burns, Colleen Hewitt, uh, The Ferrets, Supernaut, Indecent Obsession, Kids in the Kitchen for all allowing me to produce their records. To, um, to TV Week, who've allowed me to write for the magazine for the last 18 years and have given full support to me and the music industry. And to two, two of my dear friends, Laurie Masterson, who I write with, and uh, Alan Webster. To the... Um, to Channel 10 for uh, first asking me to be a mimer on commotion. I can't mime and I can't talk properly yet. To, uh, to Uptight, to uh, Ross DeWiley and to uh, Kevin Lewis, to uh, Happening 70. To um, Channel 7 for letting me do the children's show and incorporating music into that. And to Ian Buck and to Gordon French, a thank you. To Channel 2, to the ABC. The 13 years of Countdown was a fantastic experience. I sincerely thank the ABC for that. To uh, the producers, directors, Robbie Weeks, Chris Noble, uh, Ted Emery, uh, Tony Vuitt and Grant Rule, I thank them all. Uh, to Channel 9, to Daryl and the boys, uh, I thank you very much to Daryl and Ernie. Uh, to David Lecky, to Ian Johnson from Janine, to the crew, Red and Willie, Russell, Andrew and John <coughs> Blackman and, uh, and Dickie Nee. No, only joking, John. Um, to, uh, to the most extraordinary amount of people, I've really got a lot to thank for. Um, finally, I'd like to thank uh, one man in particular. He's uh, sitting here tonight, and I'm so pleased he is, Mr. Michael Shrimpton from the ABC. He was the man that uh, got Countdown on the air and fought for it for so many years when, uh, when the show, uh, when some of the ABC people thought it was inappropriate to have such a show on television. I thank you so much, Michael, for that. You've been a wonderful mentor to me. Uh, to all my friends and my family, to Lynn and uh, Christine and people like that have got me through a lot. To all the artists uh, that uh, both here and overseas that have had to put up with my uh, form of ramblings, my criticisms, uh, my everything, I thank you very, very much in having to put up with me interviewing them. And finally, I'd like to, uh, to dedicate this award to my adopted son, Morgan, to him and all the youth of Australia, that they may in the future have the same opportunities and the same fun that I have had. I thank you very, very much. Mr. Ian Molly Meldrum, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, Molly. And thanks to Daryl. Thank you, Daryl. Sound all right out the front tonight? Just kidding. Okay.